Hi guys, it's Risa. Welcome to my kitchen again. I hope you're doing great. I'm excited because this girl has a sweet tooth. I've told you guys that and today I'm going to teach you this most ridiculously easy chocolate covered strawberries and other treats because I believe on this journey that I've been on for many, many years, many, many years, um, is that you need to have balance and an 80-20 rule, 80% clean, 20% being able to splurge. That doesn't mean cheat. I don't like that word. I've told you that in my podcast because you deserve to have things in moderation, all right? And it becomes a lifestyle. We don't want to be punishing you and I don't want to feel punished. I want to know that I can have things that I love and enjoy. And most of my other recipes are resified, which I have made lower fat, but some things you have to keep as is. Before I show you this ridiculously easy recipe, you're going to go, oh my God, Risa, that is just so easy. Um, I just want to remind you, I hope you've subscribed. Please subscribe. Press the like button, loving your comments and any questions you have, don't be shy. When you post my recipes on my Facebook group, WW Tips and Recipes by Risa, I love seeing them. And if you've changed them up, that's great too, because every recipe is a base. You start with the recipe and you can change things and modify it to how you like it, okay? So even some of the ingredients I'm using today, um, you can change it up too. So what are you going to need? Of course, dun, da, 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 my favorite is chocolate. So um, I'm using one cup. You can use half a cup if you don't want to make any, like so many, all right? But, um, and for one tablespoon, it's one smart point on wellness that works and all the programs, depending on when you're watching this, so for one cup, that's 16 tablespoons. And I figured out, depending on how many you make, if you're only making 16 pieces, then it's going to be far, four smart points. So if you add less chocolate to each um, piece that you're making, fruit or other stuff that I'm going to show you, you just have to divide and conquer. Also, depending on what you're using, if it's not a fruit, you have to count that too. So... I like to make a lot and then I like to share and I'm going to show you afterwards as well. So, you know, check your nutritional facts to see um, what the smart point value is. And basically, again, it will depend on how much you eat, what you're using. OK, you guys are smart. You know what to do. The other thing you're going to need is just a cookie sheet. Again, depending, you can just take a plate and just line it with some parchment paper. I was just looking for my parchment paper to show you. Um, parchment paper. And you can get parchment paper anywhere. Okay, so that will prevent it from sticking. So what do we have here? We have an array of things. I have some sliced bananas. Of course, I dropped one. What else is new? We won't use that one, even though I did clean my floor. So bananas, of course, the main attraction is strawberries, okay? And right now, strawberries are in season, depending again when you're watching this. This is during the um, COVID-19 pandemic that I'm making these videos, lots more videos. So um, I hope that people will be able to enjoy more of my videos and I love strawberries and I like keeping this on the ends on because it just looks pretty. So again, you can use as many banana pieces, strawberry, um, apple, whatever fruit, whatever fruit you want. Now let's get into the other stuff. My daughter loves marshmallows. So we're going to use some marshmallows and she had asked for some pretzel sticks and you could use chips, you can use other things that you like, and we find these nice thick rod chip, um, not chips, pretzels at Sobeys. And uh, again, it's versatile, whatever you want to use. And I had some shredded coconut, I had some chopped up peanuts, and 
for fun. We love always keeping some sprinkles in the house, okay? So a variety of sprinkles. Now you can keep the, um, the pieces plain or you can add other things. And if you don't like any of these alternatives, you can find what you like if you wanna use other types of chopped up pecans or almonds or anything like that, seeds. Whatever you want, you can be creative, all right? Maybe even some peanut butter. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking one cup of milk chocolate because milk chocolate is our favorite in this house. Again, it's versatile. And all you're gonna do, this is so easy, is put it in your microwave. And we're going to do this slowly. Um, I found that you microwave it three times on 30 second intervals. If you do it all at once, you're gonna burn the chocolate. You don't need double boilers or anything like that to melt chocolate, people. You can simply do it like this, okay? So um, you can decide how much or how little, or if you want semi-sweet or you wanna try dark. I've not tried the sugarless ones, the sugar-free chocolate chips. So it's starting to get hot and I'm just gonna mix it just for a second and then we're gonna put it in. Um, it's not melted yet. Put it in again and then you'll see that it'll start. So as I was saying, um, I've never used um, other type of chocolate sugar free. Um, people are asking me different things when you are um, messaging me and you know, some things I can answer, some things I haven't um, tried. So I love when you guys try new things and tell me um, what you've done, okay? So let's see. So this is number two and now you can see that it's starting. I'm just gonna bring it up closely. And you can see that it's just starting to melt. So I just like to mix it around a little bit and try not to sample it. And one more time, one more time will be the trick, okay? So we just love them. They're so easy, they're so delicious. And um, the fruit you do need to eat, you can't really keep that for more than a day or two. But if you are making pretzels or and different kind of pretzels, you don't have to use these pretzels. There's so many different shaped pretzels out there. Um, and you know, if you if there's a certain type of delicious cracker or graham cracker, you can use that, all right, or a chip that you like, or even dried fruit. So I'm gonna take my whisk now and I'm gonna bring it up so that you can see this bowl is warm. And now we have beautiful, perfect, not burnt chocolate, okay? So then you can see that it looks so yummy. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this over a little bit. Okay, so now we're just going to, this is the fun part, and if you have um, children, grandchildren, your spouse, anybody. This is so yummy. And we just take our, well, let's start with the strawberries since it's called strawberries. Strawberries and other treats. So I like to take it. And we're just going to, I mean, you can drizzle it on, but I don't like to do that. I like to just dunk it. I'm just going to move this over. I just like to just take it and and that's it. So, you know, you can put in, put on as much or as little. Take another one. And that's it. I mean, you can do both sides. And the thing is that once you've finished doing all of this, you're going to, and I'm just going to take a little bit on the marshmallows. You put it in your fridge and, uh, it doesn't take very long. You can even stick it, well, I wouldn't stick, if you're doing fruit, then don't put it in the freezer. You're gonna have frozen fruit. Unless you like frozen fruit, maybe the bananas might be delicious. So again, if you want more on it, you can put more, we just like it on the ends. 
Take some banana. And uh, it's really easy. And you just keep repeating and doing this over and over. Let's get another strawberry. And then if it starts to get hard, you can just put it back in the microwave for a few seconds and it will heat up again. And it's so yummy. So now this is the fun part. I like just taking some coconut and sprinkling it on. I'll put some maybe on my banana for a change. Why not? Take some nuts and put that on. And we'll take some sprinkles. And decorate it. And, you know, you just keep repeating it over and over again. And I'll show you. Dun, da, da, da. We had made a whole slew of them last night and kept them in the fridge. Actually, my daughter ate quite a bit. So um, you could probably get at least 30, 35 pieces, depending on how much you add to it. They just look so cute. I'll just show you. And it's hardened. You can see that it's, let me just bring this this way and you can see it. <gasps> Um, I have a new camera stand, so I'm getting used to it. Um, there's with, uh, and that they look so professional, don't they? Um, they are super delicious. I haven't eaten yet, so I'm not taking a bite right now, but I plan to later. The other thing that I wanted to show you is, you know, if you um, are like me and love to share things, and I'm sure you do, I buy these uh, cookie bags at the dollar store like this and you know these make nice little gifts that you can give to your neighbors, your family, your friends, uh, your co-workers okay and we just put them in and um, so if we're just doing some pretzels and some marshmallows or actually if we're delivering them today we would put in a few strawberries because they need to eat them right away. And you can make a cute little and put a little note on, all right, and make a little gift bag, which is super nice. So you don't have to eat all of them. Um, again, the fruit you do need to have um, right away um, after you've put them in the fridge. I mean, listen, if you like them melted, you can eat them melted as well. There's no rules. Okay. Um, but everything in moderation and write a cute little note. All right. And they make great gift bags as well. Okay. So, um, just another option to show you and easy peasy, delicious, um, a treat, not a cheat. I don't like that word. We're not cheating on anybody. We're having a treat. We're enjoying life. We're having everything in moderation, 80-20. Always remember that rule. Plan for it. Enjoy it. Bring it to a party. Have it at your house um, at, for a celebration or not just for fun. It just, there's so much fun to do with your grandchildren, your grandchildren, your kids, your spouse, whoever, um, you know, and uh, just enjoy. So take care, make lots and lots, take pictures, show me what you've done, comment, let me know. And remember to ring the bell option so that um, YouTube will notify you with all my newest videos. Okay. Bye for now. Hope you love this easy peasy recipe. Take care.